the preschool ministry may outline. The monthly focus is helping others, and the song of the month is I'm in the Lord's Army. Yes, sir. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children's Confession. Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. I thank you for my family, my home, my pastors, my teachers, and my church. I thank you that I am a child that is proper and obedient. Because I have been trained in the way I should go, and when I grow up, I will not depart from it. Father God, I declare that I am quick to learn, quick to understand, and qualified to do whatever I am asked to do. Because I can do all things through Christ who helps me. Therefore, I am never afraid because I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I cancel the plan and the assignment that the devil has planned against me. Devil, if I tell you to go, you must go. So go, devil, in Jesus' name. I declare that God's kingdom will be done in my life now. I walk in good health, victory, and wholeness. I have the favor of God in my life, and I live a life of prosperity because I'm a rightly directed child. In Jesus' name, amen. I to all of my parents and preschoolers. I am Ms. Andrews, and I'm delighted to be before you all with another great Sunday lesson. I hope everything has been going well with you all. I hope you all have been enjoying every bit of spring weather, spring season, and as well as had a good spring break. Hopefully you all have um, had a chance to be on spring break and enjoy some great fun activities with your family. Maybe going outside, enjoying some fresh air, going to the beach, enjoying some good water activities, going to the playground or to the movies. It was such an incredible time for me and my family, as well as celebrating Resurrection Sunday, which we all know as Easter. So we're now in a new month. And can anyone guess what month will be in? And I'll give you a hint. It's the fifth month of the year, and it comes after April. What month is it? That's right, good job. You guessed it correctly, the month of May. So that means for the new month, we're gonna sing our months of the year song. For any of those that are new to join us, there are some that have learned the months of the year, but if you are new to joining us, you just make some space around you, make sure it's a safe area, that way you can get up and dance, and we're gonna sing our months of the year song twice. So you get up, get your dance on as we sing our months of the year, all right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Awesome job, you guys. Awesome, awesome. Y'all did wonderful singing the months of the year song. Remember, it's all about repetition practicing and singing, singing over and over, and you'll soon get it, all right? Good job, good job. Well, with it being a new month, we have a new focus. This month of May, we're gonna talk about helping others. And our scripture of the month is coming from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16, and it reads, Hebrews 13, 16. Hebrews 14, 16. Remember to be kind to other people. Remember to be kind to other people. Share with them. Share with them. The things that you have. The things that you have. God is happy. God is happy. With sacrifices. With sacrifices. Like that. Like that. What's your question? What are some things God has helped you with? And also, think about this. What are some ways you have helped others? And what are some ways other people have helped you? I want you all to think about those questions. Think of your answers to those questions. As you do that, I want you to listen to some of your friends sharing what it means to them. All right, tell me your name. Madison. All right, Madison. What are some ways God helped you? Like waking me up in the morning. Uh-huh. 
And what else does he do for you? Cook me breakfast. He gives you, yep, daddy and mommy to help cook breakfast for you. I mean daddy. Yeah, daddy, okay, daddy cooks breakfast for you. Sweet. And then, what are some ways you help other people? Um, by playing with them when they want me to. That's sweet, very nice of you to play with them. I'm bet that's very helpful. Awesome job, Madison. You even play with my sister and brother. Good, yes, sweet. Playing with your siblings. Sweet deal. Awesome. All right, tell me your name. My name is Elise. All right, Elise, tell me, how has God helped you? Um, I make, um, I make food for him. You make food for him? Or he provides food for you? Yes, it, yes. and he gives me food, huh. and he buys me food, and me and daddy, and he buys mommy um, eggs. He, so he provides money for yeah. us. He gives us jobs and he provides the money for us to, to buy food. That way we can make the food, cook the food, and we give it to you all. We um, eat it as a family. Um, so, now Jesus is everywhere because he's in our room everywhere. He is in my brother's room everywhere. And he uh -huh. is in daddy's room. So, so with him. And downstairs is. Down, and downstairs everywhere. Right, so he's all throughout the house. So you said God is everywhere. So he knows everything, he sees everything. He's able to protect us, right? Yeah. yeah. How do you help other people? What do you do to help other people? I help mommy cook the eggs and I help daddy cook the eggs. Mm -hmm. And my, my brother's Clary, my brother Clary, um, help you, mommy. Mm -hmm. And then... I help you and Daddy make the eggs. Good, thank you. And how do you? How are you helpful at school? I, 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 I tie my friends' shoes because I can tie. That's awesome. So God has helped to teach you how to tie. You I, help your friends. I couldn't do one. I couldn't do like this and then do this. I mm. couldn't do that. I could just do like two holes. And then we do it, and then put it in the hole uh -huh. down there. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like God has helped you, give you the skill, yeah. the knowledge to do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Like that. Wonderful job, um, Elise. Jesus helped me tie. He's helped you to give you the knowledge to help you. Good How job. Name? Tyler Jr. All right, Tyler. What are some ways you help other people? Bubbles. <laughs> you help people make bubbles and you throw away your trash. That's yeah. good. That helps keep areas clean. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what are some ways God helped you? God helps us when we do something wrong. God forgives us. Yes, that is so. Yes. Mm -hmm. God does that and so all the time. It gives us the things that we, we shouldn't do. He always do wrong. Yeah, he does. Awesome job, Tyler. Well, it was good hearing from your other friends on what their responses are to God helping them or how they help others and how other people help them. I'm sure you all have a list of things of ways God has helped you. Uh, he's helped you get up in the morning. He's helped you go to school and burn, be able to use you and your gifts and your talents. He's helped you to be able to know when to help your um, parents at home or when to um, help someone if they fall on the playground. So different things like that. Even helping your community by picking up trash. Different things like that. I'm sure you all have a long list of things, right? Yes. Well, there are so many ways that God and Jesus continue to help us. And help, we can have a long list of ways they have already provided help for us. Now in the Bible, there are ton of examples of God and Jesus helping other people. A good example of Jesus helping is him healing a sick girl. This leader by the name of Jairus went to Jesus crying at his feet and cry, crying and falling at his feet saying, you have to help me. My daughter is not alive. She's dead. And he said to Jesus, if you lay your hands on her, I know that she will live. But he told him to not be afraid, to not fear, but to believe. So they arrived at Jairus' house and they realized people are weeping over her, crying over her because they believe that she's not alive. And Jesus asked, well, why are you weeping? Why are you all crying over her? 
He said, she's not dead. She's only sleeping. And immediately the people just started laughing at him, laughing at what he said. So Jesus, along with James, John, and Peter, went with Jairus and his wife into the house. And just as he said, the the daughter was just lying there on the bed. He laid his hands on her and he said, stand up. And guess what? She stood up. So once she stood up, she even walked around the room. So how would you think everyone else felt? They were surprised. I I would imagine they were all surprised and all shocked at what Jesus did. How he helped this little girl to come alive, stand up, and walk around. So after doing this, Jesus told the people to not tell anyone what happened, but to go ahead to feed the girl, feed this the daughter, um, give her something to eat, because he's sure he was sure that she was hungry. So they all sat around and enjoyed a good meal together. Believe and have faith in God and in Jesus on what he could do. Well, let's thank God for him and his awesome word. If there's anyone that's tuned in today that isn't saved, that needs to give their life to God, I want you to repeat this prayer of salvation with me. Lord God, I am a sinner. I know in my heart and I believe that you sent Jesus to die on the cross and he rose again for my sins. Lord God, I accept you into my heart and into my life. And now I am saved. Amen. Awesome. Now you are a child of God and you can go tell other people about how good God is to you and how he has helped you to give your life to him. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. With that being said, I want to close us out in prayer. So you all get in the posture of prayer. Close your eyes and bow your heads. Put your hands together. Lord God, we come to you. Thank you for this great day you have allowed us to see. We thank you for all the ways you you continue to help us, has given us help, and has continued to help us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for you continuing to be there for us, for you continuing to protect us and guide us, for you giving us ways to help other people, to help our family, our um, friends, and help in our community. We thank you for those things. And we thank you, Lord God, for you being the great God that gives us all the help that we need. That, um, give us more than what we can ask for, Lord God. We thank you for every preschooler and every parent that's tuned in today. We thank you, Lord God, for how you're being a blessing to them and how you continue to bless their life. We love you. And we thank you for everything that we just pray for. And in Jesus' name, amen. Well, once again, I thank you all for tuning in for another great lesson. Continue to be great and even greater with helping others. You all also stay tuned for some good happenings with the children's ministry. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. I have a question for you. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? No? Well, let's see. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah, someone that you can talk to and uh, play with, but nobody else around them can see, right? Guess what? It's kind of like that, but only he's very real. That's right. God's voice, that still small voice, that tug in your heart, right, when you feel really good, or even that feeling when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done. That's God speaking to your heart, and that's called the Holy Spirit. And we want to make certain that you invite him into your heart every day of your life, even right now, being five six years old, you can have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you every day of your life. So let's pray together and ask for God's Spirit, His Holy Spirit, to love on you and to get into your heart, okay? Let's get in a posture of prayer. Father God, right now, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that your Spirit leads us and guides us right now whatever preschooler is watching, Lord God. We just ask that your spirit overwhelm them with love, Lord God. Speak through their hearts, Lord God, and let them know that they are loved. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you hear the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, feeling feeling your heart with love, go with it, okay? All right, guys, have a great day. Here are some videos and images of your preschooler friends showing how they are helpful to others. Here's an act of kindness by sharing. Another way of being helpful is while you're playing, respecting other people's space.
Another way of being helpful is showing act of kindness and helping someone with an activity. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Have a great time celebrating you. Here are some special messages from our rightly directed preschoolers. Enjoy. Please tell me what you love about me, your mommy. Um, I cook eggs with you and I work out with you and, ma and mommy um, give me kisses at night and at school and she Mark your calendars for the 2024 Children's Ministry events. There will be fun for the entire family. The Like Mother, Like Daughter, Mother Daughter Tea will be held on Saturday, May 4th at 1230 p.m. in the Family Life Center. Tickets are only $25 and you can register at imswata.org. Preschool Lives are available every first Sunday and every Wednesday. Join us for a special preschool Bible lesson and more. Do you have a love working with children? Well, join our ministry in order to invest your time into our lovely preschoolers. Please visit rdci.info to complete a volunteer application and join our team. Be sure to subscribe to our Kids Town YouTube channel where you can catch children's ministry and preschool weekly.